Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. She didn't want to do it. She's not a big Star Trek fan. I'm not a huge modern day Star Trek fan. I love Next Gen, probably one of my all time favorite shows. In fact, I've been watching it again on Pluto, uh, remembering how good it was. My dog also loves Star Trek Next Generation. Uh, Vivi, he, he loves uh, Jean-Luc Picard, Patrick Stewart. Uh, so anyway, we're going to talk about Star Trek because we're going to talk about William Shatner and we're going to talk about how he is seemingly uh, being cut out of Star Trek media, probably because he said that Gene Roddenberry would be rolling over in his grave a year or two ago. And, uh, you know, some of the showrunners on the current show shows, plural, uh, they're not too happy with him right now. I'm sure this was probably intentional considering that Kirk is the most iconic captain of all time. Even if they didn't use Shatner, they could have represented Kirk with uh, Chris Pine or something or whoever the heck is playing him on uh, Strange New Worlds, but they didn't do it probably to snub Shatner. So let's talk about this before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants guys. Go out to Shop Clownfish. Shopclownfish.com Pick up a copy of Crimson Wren Volume 1 and previously on Clownfish TV. One or both. Both of these books are in stock, ready to ship. In fact, we're shipping out a couple dozen more uh, today, orders today. So uh, if you guys order within the next six days, you'll be getting them. You'll be getting you'll be getting your books. Uh, so please, please continue to support us. We're going to make more books next year. We're already working on more books, more projects. So let's um, talk about this. Now, to understand this tweet, I think we have to go back a year or two ago to this. Uh, this was William Shatner saying that Gene Roddenberry uh, would be rolling over in his grave over the current state of Star Trek. So we're going to, I don't think I talked about this on the channel. I know this is coming up again because apparently like some Fox News hosts or something are bringing up Star Trek and it being right wing or some. That's not true. I don't believe that's true. But Gene Roddenberry was progressive for his day, but he's definitely not a modern year progressive, at least his politics. And the guy died in the early 90s. It was like 91, I think he died, uh, 92. And, uh, you know, he was he was a man of his time, right? He was progressive for his time, but he was still a man of his time. So at San Diego Comic-Con back in 2022, uh, Star Trek dropped some big reveals, including the first looks at the returning cast for uh, Picard Season 3, which I loved, and lower... Drex in Strange New Worlds. Uh, they did a crossover. I don't know if I agree with that, but okay, whatever. They also did a musical number, which I, I I stopped watching Strange New Worlds after I knew they were doing a musical episode. I'm like, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I was I was I was watching it. I was about five or six episodes into the show, and I'm like, yeah, this isn't too bad. This you know, it's kind of reminded me of Enterprise a little bit. It's not too bad. And then I was like, no, this is, I'm not I'm not sticking it I'm not sticking it out because I'm not watching a musical episode. Franchise veteran. Bill Shatner was the one who really made the headlines. Shatner invoked creator Gene Roddenberry's name when he spoke during his panel about the new era of Trek shows and fans definitely had strong thoughts about what he said. Uh, Cinema Blend was actually there, and this is their article. Um, it was at the Shatner on Shatner panel where he revealed some thoughts that are still causing stir. Shatner spoke about the new shows and his relationship with Gene Roddenberry. Uh, he said that essentially he would not be pleased with the new shows. I got to know Gene Roddenberry in three years fairly well. He'd be turning in his grave at some of this stuff. Those are some strong words to say the least. So it's understandable that fans of both the classic and newer shows who most likely have Paramount Plus subscriptions would feel that way. Perhaps the most prevailing opinion online was because Shatner has openly admitted he doesn't follow Star Trek. His comments on the late producer uh, should be viewed in that light. Um... Yeah, he said, I've never watched Star Trek. There are many episodes I don't know. There's some movies I don't know. That's interesting. Uh, you know what, though? If if you make a thing and uh, it, it eats up your time and it's a, it's a career, a lot. Of, I know a lot of people don't do that. I, like the comic books I worked on, I worked on Disney Comics for years. And I honestly couldn't tell you. I remember some of them but it was a job and I don't own a lot of them. And a lot of times I just kind of like, I'll come across one at a comic convention or whatever. And I'll be like, Oh yeah, I remember this one. I remember this one. I remember working on this one, but like, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. Cause it was a job to me. It was a job. You know? And then people are like, did you remember that thing that you didn't like? No, I, I 
I really, I really don't. And same with Clownfish TV. People are like, don't you remember when you said in this one? Th no, not really. <laughs> like there, there are so many people out there that spend so much more time obsessing about us than we spend on ourselves. Like we do our thing. We have our time that we do our thing and we spend a lot of time doing it. You know, we appreciate you guys immensely, but you know, we also walk away from it too. We're like, yep, we're done. We recorded. We're done for the day. Got our videos up said what we wanted to say, and now we're going to go back to the real world. And a lot of people don't go back to the real world. You know, they want to live in that, that fantasy world. So the 91 year old, he's 93 now, the 90, God, 93, he looks pretty good for 93. I don't think that's his real hair. Uh, the 91 year old star might only have a vague idea of what's going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, he actually, wasn't very happy about the wrath of Khan, the voyage home and turned down many good ideas for the next generation. He didn't like DS9. He probably wouldn't have not to mention his sexist attitude. So yeah, this goes on and on about people being pissed. So anyway, let's, um, yeah, he takes another jab at Star Trek while promoting the latest DC comics cameo. Oh my God. He said that, uh, the reoccurrence of Spock, uh, was gratuitous. Uh, it was gratuitous, right? Um, you know, it's, it's kind of fun. Well, he's kind of mad too, I think, because they killed off Kirk in such a stupid way. He like fell off a bridge. That was, that was just dumb. It was a dumb way to die. I thought they brought him back in a book or something, but anyway, let's, let's fast forward to what's going on now. So this is, uh, this is Paramount plus originals. This is uh star Trek, right? All the, all the good star Trek stuff that they have every generation, every iteration represented, right? Well, uh, we're missing somebody. We've got, like all the captains from all the ships, but we have Spock instead of Kirk. Now I'm sure they can, as an out, they can be like, well, you know, uh, we have Pike. So they, you know, he was technically an enterprise captain. So that's close enough, right? Close enough. No, no, they need to have, they need to have Shatner or at least a Kirk on there. And they, they do not. Uh, this guy, uh, Ryan Thomas Riddle, Captain Kirk and William Shatner's performance is what sold the show and allowed Leonard Nimoy to find the character of Spock. And that's true. Without Kirk, there'd be no Star Trek. Literally. No, that's true. Has anyone at Paramount come out with an official explanation for this massive flub? It's not a flub. It's intentional, says Chappie. Uh, I mean it that, that way. Yeah, it's true. A flub infers a mistake. This was and continues to be intentional and deliberate. New Trek isn't worth the bits it's magnetized to. Wow. I think you meant implies mistake, but yes, I've come to see via several replies. It's intentional. Yeah. So I think there's a bit of a, uh, a feud going on. So Shatner replies, he says, it's not the first time it's been going on for years. It makes no difference to me that a group who think they are enlightened or whatever they think they are, obviously feels threatened by the Kirk character. It's a character from a 1960s TV show. Get over it. Get a life. Remember that bit he did on, on Saturday Night Live? That was hilarious. Everyone at Star Trek on Paramount Plus should be ashamed. Yeah, Kirk is Star Trek to a lot of people. Uh, there's Elvick. Uh, no matter how they edit promotional material, you'll always be the foundation the success of Star Trek was built on. That's true. Yeah, this, this is, yeah, there you go. This is what it should be right there. Uh, everybody else came after Kirk. But uh, that's that's funny. Uh, he's just like, yeah, they've been doing it for years and they're probably going to try to like, this is probably why they're retconning Kirk. This is probably why they keep, you know, recasting Kirk. They're like, yeah, we know Kirk is popular, but, uh, we don't like Bill Shatner very much. So we're going to, you know, just try to erase him, uh, erase him. And we find out that it's George, uh, Takei that's, uh, behind all of it. No, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but there we go, guys. Another, uh, example of William Shatner taking a shot at Star Trek across the bow going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.